He's willing to compromise. He's a changed man, John, I swear. He is. His ideas have gotten worse. Stop obsessing about Brown. It's not the man you must counter. It's his idea. And his idea, George, is precisely the opposite of what we need. We don't need to shrink. We need to grow in every way, in arms, in people, in territory. That's exactly what I've been saying. We need a grand confederation of all the British North American possessions in one great entity, a country to match Americans in size. Yes, Galt, and we have agreed it's not feasible. London will not give us control of the other colonies. Or maybe they will. What's that? Maybe they will. Oh, and why would they do that? Things have changed. London doesn't want to be exposed to war with America. They are prepared to leave the whole patchwork of British North American colonies adrift. We'd all be fragments of empire that Mother England doesn't want anymore, waiting until America swallows us up. But we're the biggest colony, right? Why not just take them? All of them. Let's bind them to us. British Columbia, Victoria, New Brunswick, Newfoundland. It'd be harder to swallow a whole continent from America, wouldn't it? I've been saying that for years. This is the solution, George, to create a confederation large enough to provide both independence and protection for French and English alike. The Maritimes have stronger ties to Maine and Boston than they do to Montreal. Well, there is not even a single road connecting us. Why would they want to join with Canada? Because we'll convince them to. We'll seduce them, we'll bully them, whatever it takes. George, this idea is big enough to make even the Americans change course. George. George. I could support it, but it would take a united assembly to even dream of achieving it. We would need George Brown. He's right, John. That's a problem.